This is happening now, a major step in China's scientific development. The country has almost completed construction of a radio telescope, which has a dish of the size of 30 football fields. And now you're watching live footage from the very side of this world's biggest telescope in its kind. That's in southwest China's Guizhou province, or in Pingtang County, to be precise. And this is the last part. Uh, last part or the last reflector of the uh, of this uh, huge telescope's dish. Now we cross live to our reporter Liu Yang at the site. Hmm. Well, Penning, you're you're absolutely right. This is the world's largest single after spherical radio telescope. And right now I'm witnessing the historic moment of this mega construction. We now see um, the crown. Is actually harshing, has already harshed the last structure panel and uh, put on to one of the uh, special design plan on the building range. And I talked to experts, and he told me that in about a uh, few minutes, uh, one of the special design plans uh, will be carrying uh, the last. The reflector, it's all of the reflectors actually, uh, to another special design plan. And then we'll, you know, choose a certain material to the reflector to a certain point on the radio ring and then uh, slide it down by cables uh, to the bottom of this gigantic radio telescope. The reflector will be installed right beside the parking platform of the focus cabin and the entire process which is about an hour but right now we're still waiting uh we're seeing uh one of the special design plans who actually is ready to uh place the last of the structure um on the platform of this special design plan uh and then the process is quite slow, you know, it's, it's all, uh, you know, huge um, equipment and the movement has to be slow, be very careful and not to, uh, to cause any damage to the reflector. And uh, it certainly uh, will take long longer than we can imagine uh, in the next an hour. Uh, you know, the clan will be, uh, you know, carried by different special design plans and then slide it down by the cable to the bottom of the focus cabin, uh, focus cabin. And I want to mention just to give you a little bit of details about this uh, uh, focus cabin. It's actually in the middle uh, of this power stove. It's currently actually uh, right in, it's probably uh, about 140 to 150 meters above the bottom reflector and the bottom reflector panels, I should say. Um, and how does it work is that um, the vast piece reflector we know that is made up of 4,450 triangle panels measuring 11 meters on each side. And the focus cabin is exactly as I just mentioned, it's extended between 140 260 meters above the reflector dish. And the panels have uh, cables. As you can see, each of the panels, the structure panels, have cables fixed to the back. This is controlled by computer systems, um, computer systems of this giant, gigantic video telescope. And we don't know how many computers, but we can imagine there are, uh, there are just, uh, you know, many, many, many more computers in their in the system and just to work this one gigantic radio telescope and um, the panels have already fixed by the cables and providing an active circuit uh, that can alter the focus point so that will, uh, will allow the reflectors uh, to synchronize with the focus pattern back and forth and then enable the telescope to see of the wicked, even the wicked signals from the other space uh, were the energy. The experts told me that the wicked signals were signals means energy.
from the energy, you know, that energy from the universe. And um, and one of the very interesting uh, facts that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the experts uh, told me that, uh, you know, is there are two different types of parasols. And one is, you're very familiar with that name, it's called the Hubble a Space Parasol. And it's actually... Thank you very much. That was our reporter Liu Yang at the very side in Pingtang County in southwest China's Guizhou province.